Okay, so as we've seen so far, the price is absolutely done immediately. Good book, and when the book is a bit high, perhaps this is a too far, too fast, and price will have some uh, pullback. Although cautiously to see what price will do at the initial balance low, which is the opening price, if it has any kind of bounce or if it pulls back towards 400. If we see the week so far on the 15 minute chart, you can see here weekly value at high comes at 95 or so. Volume weight average price down to 380, so a pullback uh, towards 400 previous all time high here. It's it can happen, but uh, generally this is very very strong strong under. We see some euro dollar strength also, which is going to weigh. On uh, DAX. Also, if we see the 30-minute Bollinger band here, since yesterday, basically now before the cash held resistance at the high Bollinger band, so perhaps we see some pullback. Uh, also, don't know how this can uh, how this will develop, but perhaps we see some deeper pullback, which there is no fundamental reason for this to happen. So, better trade what we see here if we see support, even if it's. Seems overextended. Better go long uh, rather than uh, try to shorten it at the top here. So let's see now the cash open. So price pushing below yesterday's high already here. I placed a long trade here at 49. If price touches quickly here, I'd like to take the advantage of the quick bounce. Although cautiously, how long to hold this? Let's see. So basically, price just uh, in the middle of the range here and got yesterday's highs. Was thinking to go short here at this level uh, on Viva, but would prefer price to go up to initial balance high and fail here than go short perhaps. Also, this is a good area as well. Uh, this is a test of very extended move of the high, so perhaps can fail here. But let's give it some time. Also placed the short trade here at limit order at uh, 94. If price goes there, I will go full trigger short trade. So let's see. So price pushing and uh, testing against the base high here. Uh, basically, just balance slightly here in the middle of the initial balance range. Better avoid trading uh, between here and uh, let it go at either side to. Initiate a trade here. Let's see the intention of the market. Basically, if today and generally this week is going to be a continuation, low volume grind, higher slow, every pullback will be kept bought and will go further upside. Or if we have any kind of pullback, also Trump is about to deliver this week about his uh, tax reform. And uh, market might wait for this as well. So, so far uh, failing here at yesterday's high. Perhaps good idea to go short here. Although have a place to be waiting for uh, initial balance high 94 here. Once again here 30 minutes into the cash session, price uh, held the lows here and testing yesterday's high still in a balanced. Uh, Trading uh, manner here as expected. So, if we see the 30 minutes chart here, can see this uh, first uh, flash down move here immediately got bought and now trending above uh, middle Bollinger band. So better stay out of this uh, range here unless you are comfortable scalping like uh, against yesterday's highs for a few points perhaps. Although as the level waiting for price to go here to fill a short trade uh, for potential reversal, also if price goes there, I have placed a long limit order. If price goes there, I'm anticipating a short term bounce. Another fell retest here at yesterday is highs. So we will see if it finds any kind of momentum against this or if it's just going to continue sideways. So price pushing towards initial balance low here at the close of the turn of the hour. Also, this is the opening price and the lower Bollinger band here. Let's see if this uh, 
can hold any kind of support here. My bid is at 49 here, so we touch here, anticipating a short term bounce. Although, if we see the bigger picture again here on the daily chart, let me just bring this. see so far failed above yesterday's high this is overextended of course so we need to see which way we trade so basically honor to the cast trading here exactly at the initial balance low support for now so long 49 is up to 55 so we need to see if this can uh, go all the way up to big up here 7 this will be nice trade trading higher here let me scale out first target Skill out here at 57. You can see here when you have after big days, if you are patient enough and allow the market to do its thing. Of course, this trading location here at yesterday's highs, I read this here also was nice for short, although I was afraid to see if it can stop me out and bounce all the way up. That's why I was waiting here to go short at 94. Uh, Skill out first target here. Let's see. Yeah, pushing higher here, very nice entry, 49 We just scale out second target quickly here and allow stop to break even here and allow this to go all the way up to big up all yesterday's high. Yeah, pushing further up. Okay, so here we are a few minutes until the US cash open. You can see basically price held the loss twice. Here got long earlier at 49. Tried to go long again, stop me out. Then as soon as I shorted, stop me out again. And uh, balanced the behavior here. So looking to see if price can go all the way up to the cash of the day missile balance high and hold resistance to go short at 94. Also, if we see the cumulative delta here, and we can see people positioning short here. So, the fact that price remains here, or even if it goes towards the highs, uh, short should get squeezed and price might go further up for that reason. So, let's see. This is exactly as expected today after wide range days tend to have balanced days and market participants waiting. Uh, or he's stating to take aggressive positions. So let's see. We we'll see again the weekly couple of days here for the whole week uh, or the 15 minute chart. You can see price just consolidating here. So I said the in the morning, perhaps it will be nice to go down towards 400. Although you can see every time goes at the loss of the day, getting absorbed and then uh, pushes back inside. This is a balanced day, so price mostly trading in the middle and failing at either side here. So price uh, failed to hold that above uh, 77 here at the US cash open. Would like to see if goes uh, on other it is at the loss of the day, we'll try a long here again. So basically, SPY pushing straight up to 38 or so, 30. So we can go long here on DAX. We need the long here at 51s, had another long at 47s. Uh, let's see, if this is too early. Also, we'd like to see what price will do at the low of the day. SPY is much stronger, of course. If DAX is weaker and SPY reverse, then DAX will be further down. Should be aware of this scenario. Also, looking here, the Bollinger Bands uh, short term exhaustion is down to 26, is 37 to 26 area. So, got long here at 51. This is uh, value area low of today. Let me bring the other chart. So if we see this blue line here, this is value real low and value real high of today and point of control is down here, which means the most traded price of the day. So we have some initial support here. Let's just zoom in. Got long 51s, was waiting to go 47s. 
let's see if this is MLB, trade or good or should long here at 51 all this area is a good area to go perhaps for potential long opportunity and price to reverse towards the upside we still have 6 minutes for this 30 minute candle to finish and a new one to open to see if reverses or if it goes further down So price bounced the good tech points here since uh, entry nice scale of first target here if this is about to hold the low here and spy about to continue second leg higher towards 239 two, or so we like to see ducks above view up here although this trend uh, towards the low side but nice entry here if we would like to hold this all the way up to get the big high uh, this is all uh, hypothetical though if we see the 30 minute chart here I would prefer this long to be down here at the loss of the day somewhere then price to reverse although generally price hesitating to go lower and just getting constantly bought so let's give it some time to see if it manages to hold the support here also looking at the value area and the cumulative delta people positioning short trades while price failing this will might uh, squeeze price higher let's see if we can take advantage of this price going further up now so let's see what it does at 68 here i will scale out second target scale out second target here 65 from 51 now we like to hold the third target all the way up to 80s uh, just a base high Although this area of 77 or so was an area of failure here and in the morning here just at this base high. So we like to hold until there if price goes. Not far. Also, you see now we have initial resistance here on V1. So let's see the retest here. Yeah. This is just in the middle of the range. So move the stop to break even now if price pulls back. Third uh, of target will give it back, so otherwise, we try to hold this all the way up to 80s. So, spy new high here, second leg higher DAX, uh, of course, gave a bounce 20 points into the long trade 51 entry. So, uh, if that if spy will hold the highs and push even higher, hopefully, DAX will go further upside. Uh, very nice entry here. So, oh, we like to be optimistic and hold this all the way up to yesterday's high. Hopefully, it will not give this back now. Let's see. Out of the long position here at 70s from 51s. Nice little trade here uh, relative to the small range of the day. Got a nice uh, percentage from uh, the daily range uh, hopefully it then close this too early but you can see if you are patient enough and wait uh, first of all if you anticipated the right type of day what type of day it is it is a uh, sideways balanced day which means failing at the sides and mostly returns in the middle so next trading location to see if price managed to go all the way up to the high of the day 94 yet i would like to go short initially uh, hopefully, yeah, if it goes that far, I will not participate long anymore here. This is an area of failure here, close at yesterday's highs. It gives some time to see if it can go up here and what it will do. Also, having a look again at the value areas here, you can see if you remember a few minutes ago while this 30 minute candle was developing and went down here and got long at this level and said if price fails to go here then the next one will open and go higher this is what happens on balance days it's not just the location of the trade but it's the time of the trade you can see even before the close of 30 minute candle price bounce already next open and go straight up Although you can see here the nice tick index, uh, 
mostly upticking above zero, although not at its extreme highs here. So, SPY aggressively gapped up and aggressively rallied higher, why uh, it has not that much underlying strength. We need to see if uh, we found underlying strength and if the price goes even higher or if SPY will pull back from here. So here we are at the end of European cash trading. You can see basically price here the lows here and rallied all the way up to the high of the day. This is where it failed twice today. Nice area for short uh, trade here. So, but it's uh, the end of cash uh, trading here. If you see SPY was much more clear upside relative to DAX now flagging here. Need to see if this can reverse or if it will hold the high. If you would subscribe to the live uh, screen sharing room on DAX and watch every day the live trades I do on time during the market hours, the first hour of cash trading and then a US session and why I'm taking these trades, you can go on my Twitter page here at this name and click uh, this uh, on the pin to it here. This link which will prompt you to a PayPal subscription service which is uh, have uh, a small description here and uh, the first two days is free then you can have free cancellation if you wish so and then it's just 19 euros a month so if you click login here then this will prompt you to a subscription uh, details and then uh, you will need to let me know about this so I can send you the password and uh, be, so you can be able to log in every day and watch the live uh, screen sharing or you can just go to my YouTube channel here, which I, I upload every day the video after what happened after the European cash market closes. And this is the link here of the everyday recording after the market closes. So this is just free. You can feel free to go here and just watch this.